Hello everyone, welcome to the shop. Thanks for being here, I appreciate it. We build birdhouses equipped with solar powered cameras. And more importantly than that, we're sharing a lot of footage of what actually goes on inside the nest boxes themselves. So if that's your thing, you're in the right spot. So let's show you how this is done and get started on birdhouse number nine. We start off by cutting all of our pieces out of this one by eight by eight foot pine board. We're cutting the walls, the roof, and the floor. Now we're working on the side walls. I am measuring some openings and tracing out skylight holes. We'll cut them with the oscillating tool. And this is very important. We want as much light inside as possible so that we can see what's going on. Moving on here to the roof, I have a template to cut out another opening. The solar panel will sit down into this piece. It's actually a double roof, so you'll see that it'll sandwich down onto the solar panel. I'll cut a little passageway here for the wires. And this is how it all comes together. With all the pieces set, we'll lay them all out and hit them with a couple coats of a water-based stain with polyurethane. So we're trying to get a little durability for the elements. And just something to take note here, I'm only treating the outside surfaces. Everything inside the nest box, including the door and the opening, uh, will be left natural for the birds. We talked a minute ago about those skylights that we cut inside the walls, and this is what we're going to cover them with. This is a piece of Lexan. It's clear right now, but we want a more diffused light, and so we'll scratch it up a bit with the oscillating tool, kind of make it a little opaque. So let's start roughing it together. We'll set the walls up, we'll clamp it all together and I will use a brad nailer not as a final solution but just enough to hold things together for the uh, principal construction here. We'll use wood screws at the end. Now we can set up those skylights. We'll hit them with a couple pilot holes and drive them in with some screws. This is the underside of the roof. I'm getting a couple measurements to find the center and I'll screw in the little bracket that holds the camera. The camera actually snapped into this. I'll show you in a minute. With that bracket installed, we can start finalizing the roof structure. We'll knock a brad nail in it, install the solar panel, and move on. Now on to a very important piece. This is the door structure. Um, we're using a piece of unplaned pine for this to keep it as natural as possible for the birds. We'll get it fitted up, and we'll put two screws in each side that will serve as a, a swivel kind of a hinge so that we'll be able to swing this thing open and clean out all of the old nests at the end of the season. Let's drill the opening. This is uh, designed for bluebirds so we're gonna do an inch and a half opening and it's gonna be six inches up off of the deck. Now like I said, this is designed for bluebirds so there will not be a perch, but I will put some of these scratches in the front and also on the inside 
uh, just to give them a little bit of grip so that those claws can grip there so they can get inside and out very easily. We'll put a chain on the bottom, just a little pull chain so you can hook your finger and open this thing up very easily. And then we'll make a simple latch. This is a finished nail. I'm gonna hammer it over 90 degrees. And then we'll hammer it into the side of the house. Flips down, keeps the predators out, and flips up to open the door easily. Those little brad nails we used earlier will not stand up to the test of time, so let's use some real deal wood screws to really give this some strength. To finalize the solar panel install, we're going to use a nice bead of this silicon uh, adhesive, kind of a sealer as well, and we'll press this panel into place and we'll also put a bead across the top to keep a little bit of rainwater out. Here we are hooking up the camera. Here comes the line for the solar panel. I'm going to hook it into the back of the camera and snap it into that bracket that we installed earlier. And then only one last thing to do. Let's get this thing numbered and we can get it out into the field. So that wraps it up for house number nine. Thanks for staying till the end. If you like videos like this, we'll be making plenty more of these houses and sharing a lot of footage from inside. So thanks for being here and I hope to see you soon.